What is happening everyone welcome back to another video in my channel so in today's video i want to share with you exactly how to install your facebook pixel to your wordpress website plus the conversion api i just see so many students and clients of mine just overcomplicate stuff and then they have some issues with the pixel or they install the wrong plugins so they just make it super complex so in this video i will try to simplify it as much as possible and show you the way that i install the facebook pixel so it will work properly and is the easiest way to do so without further ado let's go ahead and dive straight into it all right so the first thing that we need is to make sure that we do have a facebook pixel so to be able to check if you do have one or create one all you have to do is simply go to business.facebook.com slash settings and on the left side you want to go ahead and click on data sets in the past facebook called it pixels but now they transferred it to data sets so if you don't have any pixel over here just make sure to click on add and then type in your name of the data set or pixel and then click create since i already have one created for this tutorial so let's go ahead and jump straight into the wordpress dashboard all right so over here in the dashboard what we'll need to do is on the left side we want to click on plugins and click on add new plugin and now what we want to do is to type in facebook for wordpress now what you can see in the top results over here you have facebook for woocommerce now woocommerce is like the e-commerce version for wordpress so if you don't use woocommerce and you don't have an e-commerce store and it's just a simple WordPress website then make sure you scroll down till you see there you go meta for WordPress now the reason why we selecting this and not the WooCommerce one because they are both just a little bit different from each other and I rather to make sure I install the proper Facebook plugin for my website so let's go ahead and click on install and now let's go ahead and click activate and I will go ahead and click on plugins again and now we see that we have the plugin installed and what we need to do is to click on settings and now let's go ahead and start the connection of our Facebook account to WordPress so click on get started it will ask us to log into our Facebook profile so make sure that you are logged in already on this browser so let's hit continue and then click continue again hit next and over here this is a very important part so it will ask you over here what are the right assets that you want to connect to your WordPress website so first what we need to do is select our business manager so click over here and then it will open up all the business managers that are assigned to our profile so go ahead and make sure you select the right one and hit next then it will ask you which page you want to use so go ahead and select the right page and hit next again if you do have an Instagram account then make sure just to click on add profile and then connect it so you'll be able to select it but in this case I don't have any Instagram account connected so I can skip this process so let's go ahead and click next then it will ask you for the ad account again just go ahead and select the right one and lastly it will ask you what is the Facebook pixel that that you want to connect and as we mentioned previously I already created one for this tutorial so this is the right one so I'll go ahead and select it and hit next again and lastly you see automatic advanced matching this is important this is essentially the conversion API and advanced matching that Facebook will be matching different users that interact with your website not just by the Facebook pixel but also the conversion API and the back-end system between WordPress and Facebook then what you need to do is go ahead and click continue hit next again okay now it's linking our accounts all right and it's done let's go ahead and click on done now one more thing it will ask you uh, this is Facebook asking if you allowing to share your access token of the conversion API with this website so you want to make sure you confirm that and click confirm and now we are pretty much done now we have two more quick things to do is first there's one thing that we need to let Facebook know that we are using WordPress this helps to make sure that the data is more accurate and lastly making sure that the pixel is properly installed so first let's jump back into the business manager select the data set and the right pixel and click on open an events manager all right and here what you want to do is you want to click on settings and you want to scroll down till it says choose a partner so we'll click on that and we have the option to choose one of the partners over here now the reason why I want to do it is because we letting Facebook know that hey we are using WordPress and then Facebook knows okay we have the right conversion API the right settings to transfer the most accurate data so click on WordPress then it pretty much takes you over the pixel installation process so can we can go ahead and skip this and click next click next again and now over here it says that there is no recent activity because we haven't fired the pixel yet so we need to go to our website and make sure that we scroll a little bit we interact with the website and then we'll be able to see this turn into green and this is also takes me to the second thing that we need to do is to go ahead and make sure that we test out our pixel that it actually works 
words. So what I will do is I will type in the URL of my website and I have a Chrome extension which called the Facebook Pixel Helper or nowadays Meta Pixel Helper. And after you install the Facebook Pixel Helper Chrome extension, you will be able to see that your Pixel is now active. And this means that the Pixel is firing and everything is working properly. Now if we'll go back to the events manager and revisit this step, this should turn active. So let's go ahead and close this and restart it. Let's refresh the page, go to settings again and scroll down to partner and click choose partner again, click WordPress, then hit next, next. And as you can see, boom, now it's active. So Facebook tells us the connection is working pretty well. We installed the conversion API. We tested that the pixel is working and now Facebook confirms it that this is active and now you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever with your Facebook pixel. All right, guys, so this is how you connect your Facebook pixel to your WordPress website, including conversion API. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and until next one, peace.